Hey guys, we are back today on a cold, blustery Alabama day. <laughs> uh, we've already had a pretty busy morning, and uh, we've decided that today what we're going to be doing is making a homemade chicken noodle soup. And uh, what you see with, uh, <clears throat> we're cooking with camo today, is what we're doing. <laughs> um, we are starting the mirepoix, or Lane is starting the mirepoix, with diced, or not diced uh, celery, but cut up celery, and our onion that he will be doing, and uh, carrots, and then we're also going to add in a bell pepper for this. Uh, the We'll have fresh garlic as well, fresh onion as I said. And then we will go on to our kind of a chicken stock bone broth kind of mixture we've already made. Uh, we made that in advance. And all we did when we made that was the last time we had a roast chicken. After we pulled off all of our good, usable, eatable chicken, we took the rest of it, bones and all, fat and all, and put it in a stock pot. <clears throat> Of, uh, some water, let that boil down for a number of hours, and we <clears> froze <throat> that so we could use it a number of times. I think we probably had about a total of a gallon, I think, of it, um, and we've got that all ready. And like I said, Lane is cutting up our carrots, celery, everything to make the mirepoix to go in. This is going to be done in a crock pot rather than in a regular stock pot. I'm going to show them. Yeah, I'll get that looking. Ooh, okay, and basically all I'm trying to do is get, <laughs> get an equal mix of the carrots and the thing. I'm using baby carrots. But, uh, you can you can use whole carrots if you want to. Just make sure you peel them and our counter's clean because I always clean them before I start. So. <laughs> um, and I don't have my big knife with me, so that's why you hear the clomping and the chomping. <laughs> so I'm trying to be as smooth as it. And <clears throat> this is just a... This is basically just what they would consider a rough chop because this is a slow cook recipe. Um, so. And the mirepoix, if you heard, if you look at a recipe, that is carrots, onion, and celery. Okay. Now, if you ever are going to make a gumbo, uh, any Cajun Creole dish, they're going to ask for what's called the Holy Trinity. Now. I'm going to add kind of the both the best of both worlds, which is um, the Holy Trinity is carrots, onion, and bell pepper. That's how we take it. So bell pepper. I'm just going oh, to take, okra's not in that. No. I'm going to take. <laughs> I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to take it and cut it just like this. Cut this end off. I'm going to peel it down just like this. And I'm going to take my knife and hopefully, hopefully, I can peel this all the way back for you. <clears throat> And that and way, you won't, have to, like that. you won't have to get the rest of the membranes out. That just made it a lot easier. Well, you're still going to have some of the membranes, but what you want to do is take a knife at an angle, run it this way, hold your thumb, keep your fingers out of the way, and there's the end of the membrane, just like that. And it's you haven't lost thing. any. Cut it in half <clears throat> at an angle, hold it, hold it right there, come down at an angle, the membrane's out. Because in any pepper, the, 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 uh, the heat is in the membranes. This really doesn't have one. I'm just going to turn this off because that's because those are bell peppers. Bell peppers don't have any. But they, but, but any heat is going to be in the membranes and the seeds. So that's what we want. <clears throat> now, okay. So we have the best of both worlds here. I'm just going to take my line these up like this. These up. Line these up like this. And just rough cut those a little bit. Up here. <clears throat> this just like that and if you'll notice we're using our big cutting board and off in the corner the right corner you see a green dot this is the one that's a double sided where we keep our vegetables and fruits on the, the green dot side and our meats are cut on the red side <clears throat> so we don't ever have any you know, mix up between meats and vegetables and well plus if you don't have that the reason that you, you see the chicken over here, the reason that I am not prepping this chicken yet is because I don't really want to contaminate my cutting board, just in case. Okay? Now, the rest, 
When I looked at this recipe, there are 487 gazillion thousand ways to make homemade chicken noodle soup. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm telling you is what I learned, what I was taught, my experience, and what I researched. I'm not a culinary guru by any stretch of the imagination. Now, a lot of them will take the chicken breast, lay them in the bottom of this. That's not how I was taught. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these vegetables and then I'll put them in the bottom of this crock pot. Now, let's hope this holds this. This is a really small crock pot, but I think we'll be okay. I'm not sure exactly what size that may be. Yeah, that may be like small. A, uh, maybe a four quart, possibly. I don't maybe. know. Now I'm going to take my garlic. If you've not seen this, this is fresh garlic. I'm just going to take the bottom of my knife, take take this off, <clears throat> peel this, and I always have a trash bowl here. Make sure I get all the skin off. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this root end off, this end off, and I'm not going to mince these. I'm just going to give these a quick chop. A quick small dice and this is about the same thing that you would get if you were to go and get some out of a mixed garlic jar same thing turn it over pop it real quick <clears throat> see if we can get the skin off okay sorry that's bugging me okay. don't want to waste and like the garlic. i said just <clears throat> doesn't work all the time this is a real kitchen it's, it's not it's not pre-done edited or anything so I'm just going to take the root end off. Get, I'm going to turn my knife over. Scrape this out of the way. <clears throat> and I'm just going to cut this up real, real nice and thin. I'm going to stick this in here. Just like this. Okay. So we'll get this last one. Two ten. And everybody asks me, why am I big rag? Well, when I started working for the chef in Birmingham, you know, they, they want you to wear hair nets and everything else, and that really wasn't my thing. So I came in one day wearing a do rag, and it just kind of just kind of kind of stuck. So that's pretty much it. All right, so the garlic's in now. <clears throat> this thing is not on, so we're gonna turn it on. What are you turning it on? To I'm just going. I'm gonna turn it on high right now. The recipe. This will take about probably four or so hours. Alright, now I'm going to get my chicken. <clears throat> Let me cut this up. That's where the fun part comes here, boys. <clears throat> I'm going to take this chicken and we'll cut this piece like this. <clears throat> just like this. <clears throat> He's cutting all the fat off. Take a little bit of his fat off. <clears throat> now, Now you said you're not going to put that in whole, right? No, I'm not. Okay. Some recipes call for whole. And well, what they, well, a lot of times what you will see is you will see people that will take and lay this in the bottom of the crock pot, and then um, they will put all the vegetables on top. The way I was taught is I want to have a bed for whether it be a, a, a chuck roast or anything else to lay on, so this does not actually lay on the bottom of the pan or your crock pot or anything that when it's going to take a long cooking process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and see if I can butterfly this real quick. I'm just going to come right down through here just like this. <clears throat> I'm going to roll it over because the whole point is <clears throat> the whole point about this is this is going to be shredded. So I'm going to take and so and we're not butterflying these because we're cooking this um, for show. <laughs> this is going to be um, this is going to be uh, um, shredded up, and then we're going to. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got to show you. This is the cat sapphire, and whenever she smells the meat, <clears throat> this is exactly where she's at. Okay. She thinks Daddy's going to give her some chicken. Right. Either that, or she's trying to learn how to cook. I'm not sure. And this is this just. You just, if you're going to do this, you just want to make slow stroke. <clears throat> just a slow stroke with your knife. And again, 
We're not looking for perfection here because this is going to be cooked and shredded, and that's what we're going to do. And now, are we doing two pieces or three pieces do tonight? Think? I don't know. What do you think? You can tell me. <clears throat> this one's. Mm -hmm. We can still. We can do three. Okay. The reason I butterfly these chicken breasts is because a lot of the chicken breasts that you, you know, you buy them in the, well, of course you buy them in the store, but. Um, they are so thick oh, goodness, yes. that if you don't do something, whether you pound them out with a meat mallet or whatever, they're gonna be too thick. They don't. They don't cook properly. That's the whole thing. Don't cook so evenly. They don't cook. They don't, yeah. They don't. They just don't cook evenly. And <clears throat> you know, even if you're grilling or whatever, and see, now if I was doing this for show and go, then it'd be you know, kind of something like that. Would be doing. It'd be, all right, now I do have a question for you. Good. Okay. Now, before you put that in there. Yes. Uh, well, okay, before you put that in there. Like, really, before you put okay. that in there. Are you planning on doing any of your seasoning on top of the chicken? Yeah, I'm going to season. I'm going to put this seasoning on here. Or you can, I mean, if you want. That's what I was if saying. You wanna if you want to do it either way, it doesn't really make any difference. Because there, there's some recipes that you will see, you can... They'll put it all in here, then they'll put it all together on top and whatever. But, you know, if you want to, and that's, I mean, I was that's, just a, cool, that's a cool idea. With if you it. wanted to, <clears throat> to season each piece of meat to No, make I'm not sure. going to season each piece of meat. Okay. No, I'm not going to season each piece of meat. Because I'm, this is a slow cooking process, and it's going to infuse. Okay, yes. this is going to infuse. All right, now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, though, as you see, kind of how I've got my meat laid up here. If you can take a picture of that. There you go. Soap. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Let me go over here and wash my hands real quick with soap. And I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to lay down. And, you know, like we've been saying all along, this is a real kitchen. You know, we have bowls everywhere. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a real kitchen. Okay, one thing that I forgot to show you, it's in it's already in there with the onions. So I'm gonna show you what I did to dice it up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> because again, like, what I do is <clears throat> I cut through cut through the onion like this. Not all the way through. I can go in that last piece. But again, I, I don't have my big knife with me. Your knife is your key in it. Normally, you would take and cut like this. This, what they tell me, is an American dice. This is a French dice. Where you take the knife, and this one is a little tough, <clears throat> and you slide it in here like this. And that's just a yellow onion, <clears throat> by the way. And then you just. This. Now, again, if this does not turn out like the dice that you want. You can break it up or you can even take your knife. Let me put these in this trash bowl right here. You can take your knife <coughs> and just rock it just like this. Okay. Again, the, the best tool that you can have in your kitchen is a good, really sharp, quality knife. Okay. I'm going to do this now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of rosemary over the top, just like this. And I'm going to add just a little bit of thyme. About a half a teaspoon as well. Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to take <clears throat> my uh, chicken bone broth and I'm just going to add it to it. That's slightly warm. After, uh, we what? boiled it and then let it cool down. The reason that I boiled it, this was frozen and the way I was taught was that anything like this that you're using this did not come out of a can. 
what I was taught <clears throat> is to boil it at least for two to four minutes to make sure there's no impurities in it. I'm going to put a little pepper in here. There's one thing you're, you're going to notice I'm not putting in here, and that's salt. And the reason is because, and, and I'm going to add a baby. The reason is because this broth had, you know, was made from uh, a, a chicken carcass and chicken meat. So it's already it's, it was and Jennifer added some some seasonings to it when she made it. So it was it was it, was, it, it did have some salt taste to it. So I don't want to oversalt this right now. Okay. So we're gonna put this on, and we're gonna let it go um, for probably the recipe. This recipe that I've done before on high takes usually three to four hours. But what probably is going to happen is and I, once I look at this chicken breast stuff in about three hours, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it in a pan and I'm going to shred it and I'm going to put it back in. The whole what I'm trying to do here with this is instead of taking the chicken and boiling it in water and cubing it up or shredding it up or doing whatever, is with this, since this chicken is completely raw. It's, I'm wanting, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to infuse all those flavors of the carrots, the onion, the celery, the bell peppers, the garlic. And the bone broth. The bone broth, the seasonings. I want, I want that chicken to infuse in that so that I don't just get this piece of bland chicken meat in my, um, in my chicken noodle soup. Then, later, we'll come back and we'll see so well good evening if you just joined us we are making homemade chicken noodle soup put this on uh, about what time to 220 here's what it looks like yeah. it's in there right now I've already checked the the broth in there no salt needed because we use this homemade um, chicken bone broth that Jennifer did. Now what Jen's gonna do, and I'm gonna let her do this because she's a lot better than this than me. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the chicken out of here. Because we left them, we, we butterfly the breasts, and my stepdaughter's gonna come and take over the camera now. Because uh, <clears throat> she's a camera girl. And I'm gonna let Jen, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shred, she's gonna just take and shred this up. I'm gonna let her do it. Okay, well he can go ahead and do it then. No you, go, no, you go ahead. Well then stop shredding it. This is no different than if you're cooking like a Boston butt and you're making pulled pork sandwiches. So Jen's going to take the chicken, we're going to shred it up, and we're going to put it back in, turn it on low, and we're going to let it go. All right, so you can see he's already shredded a little bit of this. And we have a cameo appearance <laughs> of Sapphire because she smelled the chicken. She was sitting on top of the freezer, and she smelled it from there. So, that right there is one little piece, and we've got, now since being in here, it's broken down into smaller pieces, so, and you just take two forks, thank you, videographer daughter, <laughs> the biggest thing about this is we tasted a little bit of it, and since we did it this way, we didn't boil or pre-cook this chicken. You can taste this chicken because it's got infused with all these uh, spices and garlic and onion and everything else that we put in here. So it's going to be, it's going to be. I think it's going to be really good. And we've checked. I checked the uh, tenderness of the carrots, the onions. So it's coming along. It's coming along real well. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon, and. Uh, we're going to kind of, she's going to shred this up, put it back in there. And you, I mean, and you we'll, see, it's not hard to, to shred it all. I mean, you're just, it's just nice and tender, and, mm -hmm. and it's got a good flavor. That's what 
but this is going to actually, this is going to make quite a bit. You know, we decided that we didn't want to chunk this just because, whoops, it's, <laughs> put one piece on and it just automatically split into two. Um, you know, we decided we didn't want to chunk this into pieces. We just wanted to shred it. Better flavor. Um, you know, not chunks of meat to eat, so it's just, it was shredded throughout. This cat is killing me. Alright. So it's, it's very tender. I mean, if you watch that last piece, it just broke into two as well. And that's what you want. I mean, you buy chicken noodle soup out of a can. You know, the, 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 the chicken is just, and this. In uniform squares. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's gross. So once you ever fix this, or like I said, there's 25,000 different or more recipes how to do this. If you watch the first part of this video, you saw how I did it, what I added to it, and um, we'll eventually see how it turns out. Now you can, now we're going to, we're just going to do crackers tonight. It's cold outside. You can make cornbread. You can. Snowing in November. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it looked like. So that's it. And that is all the chicken. We had uh, three pieces that were butterflied, and that is what's left. All that, and I'm just gonna push it right back in there. As they call it, they're going back into the pool. Yeah. And you can give that to the cat since you decided to dump it on the counter. Oops. They get a little snibbling every once in a while. So there you go. I'm just going to start this in here. Alright. That's what that looks like. You want to show it to him? Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then when we get ready, we'll put the noodles on. Not in here separately. And uh, then we'll add it when we're getting ready to eat. Well, the chicken soup is okay. okay. This has been simmering. So now we're going to take interior's chicken ball. How many bouillon cubes do you use? I put four bouillon cubes. Okay. <clears throat> Not four so cups now, of water. So that's four and four, okay? Yeah. The sauce part. One thing about these egg noodles, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you is that these things go, probably the hardest thing for me to cook. So. I'm gonna dump them in this one. I mean, I don't know about this. I don't know. And I really don't care, to be honest with you. We're not yeah. putting in the whole bag. Is it actually be enough? Well, I, know, I can't tell. So I'm going to take this <clears throat> and stir this. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Now, <laughs> when you use chicken bouillon cubes, Chicken base, people use chicken base that comes in a, a small container. The sodium level in there is really, really high. So that's why you didn't see me add any, any um, extra salt or anything else. No, I'm going to cook either. these. But the thing that uh, I said earlier is that these things are really, for me, hard to get right. And if I was just cooking these in plain water, then I would add salt at this particular time when they came to a boil. Because this is the only time you're going to be able to add flavor or anything else. So, we're going to have to come to a boil. And <clears throat> you can look on the directions. I think it says six or seven eight minutes. Yeah. But it tends to take a little bit longer, though, with things like those egg noodles. Or because it says the same thing with fettuccine, and fettuccine always seems to take longer. Is it because they're bigger noodles? It's, you know, it may, it may be more dense than noodles, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. Remember, we're cooking in a real kitchen. We're not, you know. Okay. Colander. <laughs> Colander. All right, so let me move this if you would. Putting that in the sink. Thanks. <clears throat> and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to 
take this, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, boy. Let me see. So it takes. I'm just gonna put a timer on. Timers are great things. Look, everybody that I know that's ever worked in a kitchen has used a timer. So and we'll do six minutes and we'll put the timer on. And if you can tell by the color, you see how white these are? Okay, they came out of that. Once they start to cook, they will turn almost what's called opaque, which is a little different than white. Right. We don't need to add any salt in here because we're using the, um, the chicken broth whether it be chicken base, chicken broth, whatever, there's enough sodium in here. Just gonna soak into the noodles, and we're just gonna let's see. What we're gonna do here is we're hopefully we're gonna cook these till they're a little bit al dente, a little bit, a little bit of bite. Then we're gonna take the sauce, well, the broth from the chicken soup, and pour it over, pour it over top of it, and let them continue to cook. And then we're gonna add the chicken, the the carrots, the onions. The celery, the, the whole peppers, soup. the whole soup, and add it over top of it, and then you can mix it up. And okay, these are done. Uh, all right, so we're gonna put them in but, the yep. colander yep. and pour <clears throat> cold water on it to stop that cooking process. Yep, that's exactly right. <clears throat> Oops. But now these are these are small egg noodles. <clears throat> And I can even show you one other trick. And believe it or not, this happens in every restaurant you've ever seen. They put them in an ice bath. It helps stop the cooking process. Will them cool? You can always take an ice bath. Put them here. Well, all right. This is a finished product, I guess. We've got the noodles. They've been cooked. They've been drained. So. I'm gonna take a little bit. You're still adding, I'll take. I'll take this. No, you can take whatever you want. Scoop them in here. <clears throat> These are small egg noodles. These are not the big ones. Okay, so. Uh, so uh, no, no, I don't want any more. No, 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 no. That's enough on mine. Okay. That's enough on mine. That's too much noodles. <laughs> I want the goodness of the other stuff, too. Yeah, so. So I'm gonna do is I'm, before I do anything, I'm gonna take a little broth. I'm gonna spread the broth on top because these noodles are still out down today, right? So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on here. So the broth, and that's gonna kind of finish cooking these noodles off just a little bit. I need some enough broth. Put this. <clears throat> I'm put this out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some chicken. Here, <clears throat> some of this, and you see that shredded chicken. Did you do it? Okay, now at this point, it's kind of up to you how much you want, how much you don't want. We got crackers right on here. We can add a little bit more broth if you want. Probably need to Here. <clears throat> and what am I gonna do? Just <laughs> for show and go. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of oh. <laughs> a little bit of parsley. I'm gonna sprinkle this little bit of parsley and on top. And we're around the side. And look, this is not perfect size. Okay. But I'm still in this for sure. You don't have to. Read. Hey, was this for doing a video? What the heck? Who cares? I'm going to take a little bit of paprika. Paprika. Mm -hmm. Let's add a little color to it. <clears throat> if I were doing this in a restaurant, I would have this all laid out and sprinkled around. It would be like this. But anyway. 
perfect. That's it. That's the homemade chicken noodle soup. Looks good. Like it. Hope you enjoy. And uh, they're going to eat. Thanks, guys, for watching. And remember, give us your ideas. Give us your things. It's just a real kissing. And uh, we appreciate your comments and everything else. I hope maybe you learned something today. Or if you, you know, got some comments or anything else, please comment. Be professional. Comment. Give us some advice. Hey, and if you are a do-rag kind of person... <laughs> And you got one you want to send me? <laughs> send it to me because I'll wear it on the next video. And uh, I think they're going to go eat. And we'll see. Y'all have a great day. Uh, great evening. And uh, thanks again. See you.